how you can see in the corner right there. Hey guys, sorry for being so MIA these past few months, but rest assured I am back and excited to put out lots of new videos for you guys. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I got this nice new fancy DSLR that I did not use for this video, but I will be using for future videos, so you don't have to, this is the last time you will have to deal with this iPhone quality. Sorry for speaking so quietly, there's some construction going on right outside my room, and they can probably hear me right now just like the people in that building can probably see me right now. Awkward times. Anyway, since winter is unofficially here, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you guys how to make a nice, warm, cozy reading nook that'll make those super cold, trapped inside kind of days a lot more bearable. I know a lot of people don't like reading, but honestly this reading nook can be used for so much more than just reading. You can use it as a place to do your homework, browse your social medias, journal, Netflix and chill by yourself. Basically, the limits are all up to your imagination. If you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more winter DIYs and room decor videos. Also, comment below what your favorite book is, your favorite quote is, and or what your favorite candle scent is because... I'm just curious. Anyways, enjoy the video and I will see you soon. Bye! So the first thing you're going to need is a little neglected corner or closet in your room. Since I don't have carpet in my room, instead of using a blanket on the ground for my seating, I used a dog bed that I got at HomeSense because they're super comfortable and they're not even that expensive. I think I got this for like 20 bucks. What you want to do next is add some pillows. Instead of using a bunch of little pillows, I just use one big comfy one because I was feeling it. And of course, what is a reading nook without a warm blanket? At night, when I'm relaxing, I hate having my harsh room light on, so I use these string lights from Walmart to make a nice tumblery light canopy above my nook. For a super easy, cute, and cheap wall art idea for your nook, print out your favorite book quotes or just any quotes in general, clip them to a clipboard, and stick them on the wall. The great thing is you can change them up whenever you want and they look so pretty. Next, you're going to need a small tray which you can get from the dollar store. I like to use this tray to hold a candle and my tea. And if you don't have a ledge next to your reading nook, I suggest using a little side table to hold your tray instead. I could swear that I'm fading. I think I'm losing my sight. I swear I'm hitting the floor. Next to my tray, I keep a stack of books because it's called a reading nook for a reason. I also like to keep my headphones there in case I need to add a soundtrack to the book I'm reading. It's also a great idea to keep your journal in your reading nook because it's the perfect place to reflect on your day. For maximum comfort on those cold days, feel free to add a nice fluffy shaggy rug next to your reading nook. If your fireplace deprived and weird like I am, Try YouTube searching fireplace loops and play one on your laptop while you're chilling in your cozy new nook. If possible, it's a good idea to keep a big or small bookshelf near a reading nook. I have this little one from Ikea where I keep some books, my school textbooks, candles, and random hair stuff. And that's all there is to it! Now you're ready to enjoy your cozy little winter paradise.